Now I was wondering if we're going to have a chance to smoke one of these again this year. Now that we have, I think we have at least three more coming. Yo, everybody, hey, dude, King Ding back here. So today we have come with the... What the hell is that? It's a big ass dog. Dallas still stinks. Everybody do it, King Ding back here, and welcome to the Victory Celebration Room, better known as my garage, where we come out here to smoke a cigar when the Eagles win, or we have something worth celebrating. Now, we can't smoke in the house, because if we try, the wife will double moonwalk my ass. So we come out here in the garage, and of course, I will never paint this wall. I will never paint it, because it bothers the hell out of Mark Holmes. That's just the fact of the matter, and it's the way it is. I did not think we were going to have one more of these weeks where I would smoke a cigar. We've only smoked three all year. This has been crazy. But today, today, we had a huge, huge, monumental, amazing, shock the world victory over the New Orleans Saints. Jalen Hurts, in his first start, goes out, beats New Orleans, and I'm feeling good tonight. I'm happy tonight. And I'm glad to be hanging with you guys to celebrate this, man. So, with that said, we need to smoke this stogie. And I want to dedicate it to Jalen Hurts on his first start. To Miles Sanders. Because to me, I think Miles Sanders was the man of the game. Um, Jordan Malata. Uh, I don't know if I'm forgetting anybody. But whoever it is, thank you so much. Without further ado... Let's light this bad boy up. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. This is so good. But it's not even lit yet. Oh, man, these are good. Shout out to Wisconsin Eagle fan. He sent me the humidor. He sent me the stogies. Dude, this is good. This is good, man. Thank you. I've been waiting so long to try these things with my humidor. I have it all set up. And I've been waiting. And the Eagles been losing. And I've been waiting. And the Eagles been losing. But finally, today, it's great. A lot harder to light up than those other cheap ones, though. so good when it hits your lips although I can't help but I have to spit because it's a lot of smoke but man what a win today what a win what a week what a what a crazy season man I'm I'm pumped I am pumped and shout out to Wisconsin Eagle fan for sending me these cigars shout out to you man and shout out and thank you everybody who's been supporting this channel over the years, we reached 30,000 subscribers tonight. I just want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. It really means a lot to me. I'm, I'm humbled by it. And thank you very, very much. Wow. What a win. I got to tell you, I did not think in a billion years the Eagles were going to win this game. I thought you would see... Hurts come out, first drive of the, of the series, you know, of the game. Go down, score a touchdown, go up like 7 nothing. We'd all be happy. Yeah, look, he looks great. And then reality would set in, right? And then New Orleans would get going, and that would be the end of it. So be it, you know. But it didn't happen that way. Jalen Hurts was really, really good. He was really good. I mean, I think you got to give the guy a lot of credit for his first start. Because the guy went out there. He's very poised. And, and he moves around really well, and he made the throws he had to make. And I thought he was good, you know? And, and I do. I think the big difference between Carson and him is his ability to move in the pocket. Like I said, Carson's too big. And when you're too big, that's going to be a problem. And see Hurts be able to feel pressure and get out is something Carson cannot do, and it's a huge advantage. And uh, it worked to our benefit tonight. What's wrong with this thing? But 
Anyways, uh, Jalen Hurts was, was really good. Now, a lot of people are already asking me, yo, Philly, what are you thinking? Uh, do you, we got to trade Carson? Is he done? Is it over? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I have to see more Jalen Hurts. Let him play up through the whole year. Let's see what we have in him. Um, but so far, so good. First test passed. But it takes a lot more than one game, even four games, to know what you have in a guy. Sometimes it takes a few years. So we got to wait and see. But I love what I've seen of him. I love what he did. I love what he showed. And and at this point, if it's me, I would put Jalen Hurts in. I would let Jalen Hurts play the rest of the year. Let's say you make the playoffs if you get lucky or something. Whatever. Then you have him and Carson. If you're going to keep Carson, which reports on ESPN today were that the Eagles are going to, then then let them both have an open quarterback competition. You know, I don't know if that's possible with the money, but let's do it. That's what I would do. Uh, Howie Roseman still has to go, though. He still has to go. But, you know, we're a long way from knowing what Jalen Hurts is or what, what he is. We, we got to see. He's got to play more. But so far, first step, I mean, first pad, you know, first test, he passed. And that's what's so most important. Do you hear that? I hear, I hear dog bells, like a collar. Somebody's taking the dog for a walk. I'll bet you, I'll bet you any amount of money, it's that stupid woman. Let me see if I can see her. It's dark outside, I can't see. All I have to do is look for a flashlight, and then I know. You see a dog pissing and pooping in everybody's yard, and a flashlight going like this, looking in and trying to inspect everybody's house. It's her, it's that bitch. Can't stand that woman, you know, can't. She knows it too. But what are you gonna do? You know, I got all my lights out, it's Christmas time, I'm feeling good. Santa Claus, oh these are so good. Santa Claus is coming to town. I can't wait, he's coming. Dingbat Claus will be streaming next week, by the way. Uh, I will not be streaming next week's game, it'll be Dingbat Claus, so I uh, hope you'll join me for that. But uh, yeah, I mean, Jalen Hurts, I thought, I thought he was pretty good. I, you know, I mean, what can you say? A lot of people wanted to see him early in the year. Not me so much, but a lot of people. And and look, he he impressed me. I, I he won me over today. And I want to see more of him. I want to see what he can do. I love the the mobility. I love the poise. And I think it was a great thing. I mean, they didn't give up any sacks against the Saints. None. The Saints have a good defense, man. And and that that's what's impressive. It's not. Even so much that they beat the Saints. It's that they they were able to move the ball in that defense. I mean, you don't have Drew Brees, and I do think that is a big advantage the Eagles had. But I'm more impressed about the defense. Now, you may be saying to me, yo, Phil 500, yo, Dingbat, listen, you drink too much eggnog. It's it's a win, but it ain't, it ain't all that. You know, it, it's not going to matter in the grand scheme of this year. We're not winning the division. We can't win the division. It's not going to happen. I gotta tell you, I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong. I think this is the kind of win that makes you win the division. Okay? I think if the Eagles beat Arizona next week, I think they win the division. Because I think they can beat Washington. I think they can beat, oh, I know they could beat Dallas. Dallas stinks. Andy Dalton stinks, okay? So you could possibly win the division. Now, this is where I have. A lot of anxiety because I go back and forth. The the my brain part, which isn't that big, right? My brain part says, get get the best pick you can, get the best picks you can, get the hell out rid of Howie Roseman, and let's get some top tier talent because you're not winning the Super Bowl even if you make the playoffs. I get that, I get that, but the emotional part, the heart of me, which is like ninety percent, when that game starts. You know, on Sunday and I'm streaming and that game starts. You know what? I want to win. I can't help it. I can't help it. You know? I can't help it. So, this is where I'm like back and forth. You know, I, I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same way. You know, you want you want to you want what you want what's best for your team. You want your team to get the best players that they can. You want your players to 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 you know 
be young, be good, and, and you want to be good for several years. Okay, but at the same time, some of you, you can't root against them. It's very hard. It's a struggle for me, you know. I think to me, for me, I was looking at this game. Like if we lose to the Saints, then it's over. Then it's full tank mode. We can lose out, and I'm cool with it. I can live with it. Even if it meant that Dallas would win and I couldn't get Joe Boo's head, I was okay if it meant getting the third or fourth pick overall. Okay? But they won tonight. They won tonight. Does that change things? To me, it changes things, man. Changes things. Because now, if you beat Arizona, okay, you can beat Dallas and then Washington. Okay, Washington's what? Two games up? So Washington's two games up. And I think they're the best team in the division that we have to face. Um, you got to play them one of those times. So that could be one loss. They play Seattle this Sunday. That, that's not a guaranteed win. The Eagles could wind up beating the Washington no-names, a team with no name, and winning the division in the last week of the season. I think they play Washington last. Let's do it. I mean, if, if, at this point, I, I can't help it. You know? Shit. I could do this all day. I could be out here all night looking at Christmas lights, smoking stogies. Could do it all night. I love this kind of stuff. This is my kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? It's been a long time. Only, what? Like I said, three cigars all year. This is only the fourth time. And we're talking about division. Winning the division. That's what's even crazier. Four wins that we're talking about winning the division. And, th and this becomes the small little pea brain part of me going, do I really want to do that? Do I really want to pick 19th? Or do I want to pick 8th or 9th? You know, it's a, it's, it's a battle. For me, with Jalen Hurts in there at this point, I say, let's, let's see what the young kids can do. If a young rookie quarterback can go and win the next three games and get us into the playoffs, it's a huge thing. It's a huge thing. I, 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 I have to root for it. Have to root for it. And shout out to Miles Sanders. I mean, it's about time to play Miles Sanders. You know what I mean? They don't use him enough. They, I don't even think they use him enough in this game still. But at least he had some carries. And what does he do? He breaks off a big run. He is your biggest playmaker. And I really think that that run that Miles Sanders had, I think that was the big difference in this game. I think that really propelled the Eagles to win this game, you know? And with a little luck, too. I mean, did you see on that onside kick, Duke Riley? He was like this. Like, he didn't want to touch the ball. And I figured it out. Duke Riley came from the Falcons. That's what the Falcons did against Dallas. He, he, he has choking in him. We have to be careful. We have to knock that choking right out of him. Double move on his ass. Can't have it because he almost gave it up. If, if the Saints recover that ball, they're going to win the game. I really believe that. So, you know, but we won. We won. We won. It's nice to beat New Orleans. Isn't it nice to beat New Orleans? New Orleans beats us all the time. Them in Seattle. It's funny, man. People are funny, you know, because people are like, oh, now you like Jalen Hurts. Before you hated Jalen Hurts, but now you like him. You like him. What happened to your boy Carson? Look, I'm always an Eagle fan first. First and foremost, I, I root for the team. I root for that team. I root for that jersey. I root for the name Eagles, the Philadelphia Eagles. That's my team. Players, I like players and I dislike players. There are guys I can't stand. There are guys I love. But I still root for them. Even the ones I don't like, I want them to do good when they're on the field. Even when Nate Gary running in his high heels. Okay? I want him to make the tackle, not miss the tackle. But, you know, I like Jalen Hurts. I wouldn't have done the pick. I still think it was a stupid pick. That is never going to change. I don't care if he becomes Russell Wilson wins four Super Bowls. It was a stupid pick. You know, sometimes sometimes you get lucky. A clock is wrong. A, a broken clock is right 
That's what they say. A broken, a broken, broken, broken clock is right twice a day. That's what. It, that's how I would look at that pick. You don't do it. You don't take a quarterback when you have a 27-year-old franchise quarterback. That's just the way it is. Who the hell is this outside? Stop in front of my house looking in. I will I will double move. Come here. I am fully strapped. I'm ready to rock and roll. But I don't like the creeping stuff. Don't creep on my house. You know? Anyways. I'm not Carson Wentz. I don't have a hunting channel. I don't go hunting. But I got protection. Believe me. Now. What Jalen Hurts... You know, I want him to do good. He's an eagle. I want him to do good is what I'm saying. I root for him. He's the player. I like him. I like Carson Wentz. I, Carson has become one. Of, I was a big fan of Carson Wentz. Still am. I still believe he's got it. But I would never have made that pick. That said, it's not Jalen Hurts' fault. I don't blame him. I want him to do great. Howie, got to go. Got to go. No, no change in that. Now, let's say Hurts goes out and he plays... He plays great the rest of the year, right? And he plays fantastic. Let's say he even goes to the playoffs and wins a playoff game, right? So what do you do then? What would you do? Uh, would you just try to trade Carson? Would you keep Carson? What would you do? I think me, I assume that trading him is very unlikely, especially after the reports came out. So I would say I would have an open competition. I would get myself a new offensive coordinator, new quarterback coaches. I would have an open competition between Carson Wentz and Jalen Hurts. And that's what I would do. And I think that a competition like that could make both players better. I will bet, I'll bet you, I'll bet you we can figure out what you want. I bet Carson Wentz loses 25 pounds this offseason. He is going to lose 25 pounds because he's got no mobility. And the biggest issue with the Eagles is that he couldn't move in the pocket. He's in the pocket. He's stuck. Okay? Jalen Hurts, he rolls out and stuff like that. And Doug said he didn't even call the rollouts. Jalen Hurts just had the, 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 mental, um, the mental intelligence to know that this line is going to give up pressure. I got to get out. I got to create space and get outside the pocket. He's smart enough to do it. Carson, I don't know. He's supposed to be like never had to let blow a B in school. What was he taking his whole life? You know what I mean? What was he taking? Knitting? Were you taking knitting, Carson? I mean, you don't know to run out of pocket, to get out of pocket? But when they made him heavy, and they made him fat, let me tell you, he was a sitting duck. Okay? And people said, well, Carson calls the play. He likes to call out of the plays, and that's what it is. Why would a guy who has the highest completion percentage outside the pocket never call plays then to go outside the pocket? It makes no sense. He's obviously comfortable there. I don't think it's that. I think what happened was the Eagles were worried about his injuries. They don't believe in him. That's why they took Hurts in a second, because they're worried about his injuries. They said, Carson, we want you to become a pocket quarterback. We want you to gain weight so you can take more hits. And then that'll be how it goes. And they coached him all year as a pocket quarterback. When you did that, you took the best parts of his game away. Now he's a sitting duck. That's why. Insert Jalen Hurts, who can move around and is quick. He's pretty fast. Uh, he's faster than I thought, to be honest. But he can move around. Totally different story. Totally different story. And his legs create opportunity for him, for the receivers, for the tight ends. And, and I think Doug's probably somewhat more comfortable with that because Doug doesn't have to be as perfect. The line doesn't have to be as perfect. Everything doesn't have to be as perfect because he can create with his legs. And that was something Carson used to do. So open competition next year. Jalen Carson. Carson loses weight, comes in. Let's see. Best man win. I love it. I love it. I'm excited about quarterback competition. But in the meantime, we got three games left to play, right? If, my prediction is, if the Eagles beat the Cardinals, which is not a give-me game, it's going to be a tough game, but if they do, I think the Eagles will go ahead and win this division. That is my prediction. Next week for me, I think is it. They win, they win a division. If they lose, they need to lose out. I'm just going to be honest with you. They need to lose out at that point, you know? Especially 
if Washington lo- if Washington wins. A lot of people walking by right now. A lot of people. People like to walk, walk by my house and look and see what's going on. Because they hear me yelling and screaming every Sunday. And, and they're about to call the police on me uh, because they hear me screaming. So I think afterwards they always like to walk by and find out what was going on. What was going on there? Was he was he going off on his family? What the hell's going on? They're crazy like that, these people. Me, I don't care. I know this is a longer video, but what are you going to do, man? It's been a long time since we had this. <sighs> what a day. What a day. Earlier today, early in the morning, I get up. I go to Dunkin' Donuts to get my wife coffee, right? And I'm not a coffee drinker unless it's like 10 degrees outside. I don't get like that around here. So I'm getting coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. And... You know, there's like a lo- this huge line, and in the middle of the line is a street that's going from left to right. So you have to wait so people can get by. So there's a space between where the drive-through is and where the line is. You know, and then there's this road that goes by. So I'm here parked here. This car comes up, and he just cut right in front of me, like right in front of me. And I've been waiting in line like 20 minutes. I'm like, eh, eh, eh. yo, what the hell? And then. The guy, two cars in front, thinks I'm talking to him. So he gets on looking around. This little short guy with the double moonwalked his ass. He must have been like 4'2". He's like looking like this on his, <laughs> his tiptoes. Like, and, and I guess the person in the car got nervous. And just put it reverse and <laughs> gone right back in me. Didn't see the line. Didn't see me. I have an SUV. How do you not see me in the rearview mirror? So I'm like, oh my God. So the door opens. The girl gets out. It's like a 17-year-old girl. It's maybe 60. And she's like, like about to cry, you know, just looking at me. I'm so sorry, shaking. And I'm just like, yo, are you cool? You okay? Yeah, all right, go park and I'll come in and we'll talk this out. So I had to get out of line, go around, park. She parks. I get out of the car. I walk over to the car. I say, are you okay? She said, yeah. I look at her car. I go, you see any damage, anything there? She's like, no. She's holding her registration. She's shaking like this. You know, and she's about to cry. I felt so bad for this kid. I, I felt bad, you know, you know, because I'm a dad, you know. So I go over and look at my car. I'm like, dude, not a, not a scratch. How did I not get a scratch on the bumper? She hit me hard. I thought like she would have shattered the, 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 the headlight, the fog light, something. Scratch, a bumper, maybe the license plate been. Not a scratch. Not a mother open scratch. And I told her, she's like, you still want my registration? I said, I got nothing here. I'm good. She's like, you want my registration? I said, no. No, we're good. You got any injuries? You got any injuries? You got any damage? No. Take care. See you later. So I'm like, damn, I have to go into Dunkin' Donuts. Of course, it's shut down because we're back in lockdown. So I can't go in. I have to go back all the way back to the other side of the line. I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. And the thing is, I couldn't just leave because my wife put a mobile order. So luckily, these nice people, they were like, Hey, you can cut. You can get in front of us. You know, I'm like, are you sure? And they're like, yeah. So I got in front of them, and then when I got up, I just paid for their meal and took off. I had a crazy day. But I tell you what, I tell you, I swear to you, when when that all happened, I was sitting in the car waiting. I go, the Eagles are gonna win today. This is turning out to be a good day. The Eagles are gonna win. Now I didn't believe the Eagles were gonna win before that. Some days, sometimes you just have a good day, man. And to end it with this. To end this day with this stogie, with this long ass cigar video with you peoples, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. I love yous. You guys are the best. And uh, hey, the Eagles win. I'm just excited. I'm excited. I'm also intrigued to see Jalen Hurts. I want him to go out and kick everybody's ass. Do it. But I'm excited. And I'm excited about next week's game. Dingback Claws will be screaming that, not me, but it's good. Now, with that said, I've been talking too long. This is usually, this is about eight to nine minutes longer than I usually like it, but I just had a lot to say. 
With that said, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to look at the Christmas lights, finish my stogie for about another half hour, however long it takes to think. I've only smoked like this much so far. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful day. Wisconsin Eagle fan, shout out to you. Love the cigars. Thank you guys, everybody, for all the support. Getting over 3,000. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And uh, don't be a dingbat.